In this video, I'll show you how to find the average atomic mass of an element. Let's start by defining a key term. Isotopes are two atoms with the same atomic number, which means the number of protons in the nucleus, but different atomic masses. An atomic mass is the combination of protons and neutrons, and therefore, different number of neutrons in the nucleus. The question asks, given the table below, find the average atomic mass represented as AAM of hydrogen. Now what you'll need to be successful in this question is the following formula. The average atomic mass is equal to the sum of the mass of the isotope times the abundance of the isotope. Sometimes you'll be provided this number as a percentage, so it's your responsibility to convert it into decimal. So let's go ahead and answer this. Hydrogen has three isotopes, hydrogen, deuterium, and tritium. So to calculate the average atomic mass, I'm going to take this number and multiply it to its abundance, and then add the product of this number to that number, and the same thing here. So let's go ahead and do that. AAM is equal to 1.0078205 times 0 0.99985, multiplying this number 2.0141079 times 0 0.00015 and finally this 3.0160293 times 0 and this goes to nothing so we're left with using our calculator zero point zero 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 one five now I'm not going to bother adding this because it's zero already and this gives us the following average when it comes to accounting for significant figures in our case remember that this number this number and this number are all exact numbers and when you multiply exact numbers the amount of significant figures in that number do not count towards your final answer only approximate numbers. Now it turns out for hydrogen, this is an approximate number, whereas 0 0.00015 is an exact number as well. Now it's not stated in the question, but that is the general case for this particular hydrogen isotope. Therefore, this is our only approximate number, and our final answer needs to go to five significant figures. Now if it goes to five significant figures, everything after this nine, will be truncated. Since the 7 is greater than 5, this will go up by 1, and we end up with 1.0080. This number goes up by 1, therefore this becomes 80. And this right here represents the average atomic mass for hydrogen. And there you have it. That is how to find the average atomic mass of an element. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, visit our website at studyforce.com. We're an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.